Hello, everybody. It is Badger Wild, and we are back with another Space Engineers review video. And this time we're reviewing something completely vanilla, but still really cool and lore friendly to Space Engineers. Something that y'all may want to put inside of your games. And uh, if, if you're having trouble building bases, well, a guy named Eddington has given you a base to build. So what we're looking for is not this entirely. What we're looking for is where we're going to go. We're going to fly up here in the F-302. And you can see it right here. This is the blue team base or shipyard, I guess is what we would call it. Let's hop in here and hit F-10 real quick so you guys can take a look. And this is the blue team medium shipyard. It's a self-sustaining, medium-sized shipyard and production plant. The scaffolding side contains facilities to manufacture, repair, and service ships up to light cruisers or a pair of corvettes, frigates, uh, via several arms containing magnetic clamps and projectors. The support side contains a core of control and habitation material storage, workshop, hangars, and factory wing. The factory wing includes eight main assemblers and two recyclers and a small ship automated factory with blueprints loaded to rapidly manufacture small fighters, bombers, and shuffles. This is very key. So it's an all-in-one base, basically. If you're wanting to jump into Space Engineers and you wanted to start with a base just to have the facilities you need. Now, there is an important note here. This facility is a production facility and depends on external support facilities for refining and refueling. So if you need fuel, if you need refined, if you need to refine material, you are going to need a mining base to work with this. And currently I am working on the obsidian bounty, uh, which will be the ship that'll do that. And that has yet to be done because I haven't even started working on it yet. But Right here, you can see I'm, I'm kind of glitching a little bit. That's because I think one of the mods I have on is messing. But this DLC, this requires absolutely zero mods uh, needed. It does require, I believe, every one of the DLCs. We're going to like this because it, it looks really good, honestly. And we're going to do a little flyby with the F-302. Uh, it does come with one large and two small welder workships. So you are going to have a lot to work with. Author is Eddington. We're going to be checking out probably some more of his stuff just for the heck of it. But as you can see right here, let me hop out from the F-302. And you guys can now see as we do our little flyby here, all the stuff this thing has going for it. Now, it, it is it is causing problems. As far as a ship base to operate from and build... This is something I wish that Keen would put inside of the game. I wish we could run into this and uh, check this out. Whoa, now. Let's drop down here a little bit so we don't accidentally hit that. My PC is having just a little bit of trouble with this. We're going to fly right on through here. But you can see all the facilities and stuff. On this side, we've got the fighter facility, which you guys will be taking a look at pretty quickly. We've got some guns on here to defend the base with, but I'm pretty sure we could add more if we wanted. Several landing pads, mind you. Lots of landing pads. But the one you're going to be using the most to drop off your stuff is going to be right here on this little landing pad here. Unfortunately, the F-302 does not have anything on the bottom of it, so... I'm having to be really careful because I'm having some lag issues today for some reason. I've got a download or something happening. So anyway, hopping into the F-302, we're going to press 8. Which is going to cause the F-302's main wings to open up here. And then I'm just going to very nicely set us down on here so we can run on through and take a nice look at this really cool little base we got going on here. And tap number seven here. And we're going to hop out of the F-302 at the moment. Pretty cool little vehicle. If you guys are wanting one of these in creative, you can go find it. It's on uh, my own uh, Steam Workshop. But that's not what you're here for today. You're here to see this base. And this thing has a lot of stuff. We've got this nice mega welder here to weld a lot of stuff with. We've got two small welders. But you can look around here. You can see just the amount of work that's been put into this thing. A lot of the blocks. I, I mean, I've, I've gone through this facility once already, and I'm coming up with ideas, folks. 
But first off, let's just wander through the facility. Number one, we got some storage containers here. We also have storage over in this direction, probably to separate raw materials from assembled parts, I would believe. But first things first, let's go into this facility as you're coming from this platform here. Uh, you can come over, you've got an access here, access here, all this. We also have a ladder going up here, or some stairs, going up to the upper deck where we have another landing pad to land another vehicle up here. So you can land multiple ships on this and be able to operate, as well as, I almost forgot to mention, this has a connector port to just simply run a ship right up next to it. So theoretically, I could possibly put the Sentinel up here and load it onto position. We could load the Sentinel in. That would be cool. But we've also got this landing pad. We've got multiple hookups all around the facility. But we're going to check out the inside right now because that's what you guys are looking at. Is it is it as good as advertised? So coming in, we've got the small welder bay. You can see here we've got... The blue team's own personal brand of welder ship. These things are actually kind of cool. Uh, if you want to build something weld up, they've got a small landing gear. These are the upgraded models because they've got better blocks on them. To get two of them in here, you've also got another two ports here to add two more of these if you want. Um, yeah, you can press a button over here and this will open up one of the doors. And they got this nice twin door open just to let that little ship just right on out of here and have its own little fun. So we're going to shut that real fast. Connects up to the back here. So if you wanted to operate this system just as a makeshift base to start building ships and stuff, this is what you would do to do it. Uh, like I said, it comes with a lot of building ships so you could easily build and maintain whatever you wanted to work on. So continuing on, let's look through the rest of the ship because this is... Pretty interesting. We've got a nice little locker room right over here and uh, a cargo container to access all the stuff inside the ship. Everything in here. Oh, looky here. We've got lockers are carrying plenty of tools. You can load these up. This is one thing I like about lockers is when you add a locker, you're adding extra storage for small items. And it's just a great way. It's just a block you can put in there. And you can airtight one of these blocks pretty easily. They can take up a corner in your ship and they provide storage at the same time. So wonderful little block. Let's go here. We're walking across this nice little catwalk and I'm going to use admin mode for just a moment. To bring the sun around. So we've got some nice lighting going on. Ah, see the power of God right here in the game. <laughs> so anyway, going across this nice catwalk, I'm going to have to remember this uh, and make my own catwalk like this, because this is actually pretty dope. We're going to walk up to the first door. We've got this nice airlock here that you can go into. Pressing a single button that shuts that door and then opens this one. I'm not sure if this is a program block. Uh, it could be that maybe we may be running a couple of scripts that may be why the system is running weird. Could be, could not be. We don't know. Uh, could be some timers. But anyway, we end up in the first primary room. This is basically like a galley area you will end up in. Uh, we've got factory down over there. We've got this giant door. And uh, this is actually the nuclear reactor, which we're going to see the reactor here in just a moment. Uh, but we've got a nice little waiting area. A couple of vending machines. And absolutely must have an ATM. So you can go in and start pulling out your monies start getting your cash and, and pulling that up over in here we've got a set of stores so that you can buy some stuff and looking up over here it appears we've got another cargo container just to run everything and make it work together so and, you know really really cool nice design to the ship here i'm gonna have to remember this block pattern here is it just makes the ship look good let's break off over here into the first area and this is where, like, the magic and everything is apparently going to happen. So we open this airlock up. We're inside the actual scaffold area. And you can look up here. You can see a bunch of these magnets to hook up something on. And I believe there's also a projector block somewhere, which will project up a ship that you want to work on. Or you can just bring a ship in here and work on it. You can also connect. And, oh, uh, yeah, here we go right here. Here's our projector. 
So you project your ship down and then you would start grabbing materials, uh, build your ship over in the refinery area. And then this is, or not the refinery area, build in the assembling area. And then you would assemble your ship here. Perfect for us because we, we may use a station like this, or we may just put one of these in survival under fire and we may just start using it because it's a pretty good facility. We're gonna have to build something pretty similar. But you can also see here, we've got multiple connectors to connect your ship up with. So you can just come up here, connect a ship in, and while it's a dry dock, you can be sitting inside doing your thing. Let's go inside here real fast. Uh, let me over. And... Okay, yeah, we got spotlights and everything. Let's head inside rather quickly here. Going back in. And like I said, when you want a nifty little airlock area, it's good to put these little jackets and everything in. Because you look in here, let's see, what's in this? What's what's in this? Ah, see, here we go. We got welders, we got grinders, we got oxygen and hydrogen going on. Just absolute perfection right here. Let's keep going on. Uh, since we're on this level, we might as well head over this direction. I think over here we've got this nice little factory area. Which is really cool. It's got probably one of the best looking 3D printers I have ever seen on a base. I didn't know this was possible and I'm probably going to... I, You look at stuff like this and your mind goes, I'm stealing that. <laughs> and you're going to want to steal this too. This is a rapid fighter bay, which rapidly prints ships and sends them in. Now we've got a craft here. I'm not sure if this is the shuttle craft. But we've got one craft here that can be used. We've got another craft here that has what appears to be a gun and a cannon mounted to it. This one has some auto cannons. And over here we have this one, which I'm not even sure what this is. If it's the shuttle or not. It says on here that it's got shuttle craft that you can build and put in. I'm going to have to build a shuttle craft for us out in space. Just saying, I'm going to have to make something similar to this because this is just too dang cool <laughs> not to have. Uh, but it will apparently build up and then all you got to do is you just clip that in the back here, this hazard looking block, and your ship is ready to go afterward. So going over here, we've got our <clears throat> got a cargo container to access stuff. We've also got directions here. Push button one to build, grind yellow caution block, three fly ship from factory, four push button. Button two to reset. So it will reset very quickly. We could build a ship while we're here. Let's build some ships. Let's see how we build a ship. Let's start. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look how fast that is. Oh, we can build one for each one of them. I wonder what we built. Oh, we must have built a fighter, I guess. Oh, that is nice looking. You can see here we got two Gatling guns, two cannons, and a serious amount. And just see right here, it just builds a ship very quickly. So if you got a friend of yours, your station's under attack, you can have several of these things. Oh, we just opened up for the ship. Do I have a grinder on me? We could take this thing out and use it. We'll just leave that right there because uh, we're not we're probably not going to take that out with us. <laughs> but that you see how effective this is just building up a ship rather quickly and then just taking it out and flying it. It's really good little system here. I'm not sure which one's the shuttle and which one isn't. I need to figure out which is the shuttle on here. We need to review some of these. I might review some of these ships next. I'm not sure. But anyway. Continuing on here, we've got this nice uh, production facility over in this direction. And you got controls and everything to operate all this. These are the advanced assemblers with a walkthrough. And I love how they've used the catwalk system to manage this. I believe there's eight of these as well as uh, two of them are set for recycle. So these are your recyclers. You would just basically tell them what to recycle back into your uh, crates. And then these here would build everything that you'd want them to build. We got that done here with the production facility. Like I said, no refinery because this does not have a refinery to work with. It's going to require probably another ship to refine the materials and bring it to. 
But it is a great little station, like I said, to go in here, check out and see some design ideas that are just going into some of these ships and some of these designs of these stations and stuff. And Keen makes some pretty cool stuff. Anyway, this is for Blue Base. I don't know if this is Keen, Keen doing this, but Eddington has made some pretty cool stuff for Blue Team on the game. If you know the lore, there is a Blue Team. You see here, we've got a power kit and a med kit. Nice to have in a locker. And we've got right here medical. Like I said, we're up here on the upper level. We're going to get even better. This thing has like two or three levels to it. Uh, probably one of the best looking med bays I've ever seen. I mean, some of this stuff on here, I, I am genuinely impressed with how it looks. Uh, I'd probably try to put some kind of uh, door right there just to kind of make that a little more private inside of a doctor's office. But hey, it's a doctor's office. You're not going to be able, you're not going to have much privacy. We've got all kinds of tubes and testing equipment. We've got our respawn right here. This is where you guys would be respawning in and then coming out. And then <clears throat> if there was a problem now, right here, we've got power control and power control in there is our reactor room, which is a really cool reactor room. I'm not going to lie. Uh, it's got a neat little block. Looks like it's got something underneath it to keep it stationed up. And we've got our current nuclear reactor sitting in there which can probably be accessed from anywhere and probably easy to repair it. Uh, there's that big door in there. That's the one that has to be opened in order to get to it. We're probably not going to hit that. I'll leave some things for you guys to go check out on your, but now we're going to go up and head into the very highest upper level. And here I am going to click on some lights because it's a little dark, but it's a little fun too at the same time. So we've got this door. I don't know. What is... Where does it go? Uh, Roll. Let's go here. All right, turn that on so we can check this out. What's in here? Oh, an armory. Ah, oh, this is a cool armory, too. This is where you would have all your guns and everything. Nice, nice, nice. We've got gun rack here. We've got a weapon rack. We've got armories. And nice use of the uh, catwalk block to create a barrier here between the main guns, so you won't have everybody just running in. It kind of, you know, breaks the room up a bit. Pretty cool having that locked so nobody can get into it. It's where all your guns are at. And a cool way to use this uh, right here. Put the vent up here, look, make it look like a a freaking table or something. Add some seats. Now in here we've got the birthing area. I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean, but it's basically a very, it's basically like a truck stop pretty much. Uh, you know, you ever go to truck stops, you have multiple bathrooms with showers. Well, here you go. You have multiple bathrooms with showers, lots and lots of locker space, uh, multiple lockers, some seating areas. And then upstairs, we have sleeping areas, a lot of sleeping areas right here. So you have a lot of stuff in here that works out very well. I'm, I mean, we're, we're the team, me and the team are going to have to come up here and uh, we're probably going to have to raid this at some point or take it over. And it's pretty good. I'm not going to lie. Uh, here's duty free. It appears to be some type of lounge, kind of like a 10 forward in Star Trek mixed with a storage area. So you got all this storage for <clears throat> maintenance parts and gear. It looks like we've got more lockers for storage. Like I said, these locker blocks are great. You can store ore, you can store materials, you can store anything in them uh, that can be carried by a player. Now, they don't hook up to the overall rest of the ship, but they're still pretty good to have for extra storage. We've got a soda machine right here, and heading upstairs, we've got this nice bar area where people can just walk in, grab themselves some sodas. We've got another soda machine here or dispenser and kitchenette right there just beautiful and i have to admit i i like the way the blocks are set up i kind of want to use this combination of blocks these uh sci-fi blocks in conjunction to make a more detailed looking ship i'm gonna have to do that at some point in time but let's continue forward into this final room and this is where the printing magic happens and you can see my hot bar here has all kinds of stuff. I've got stuff for pistons uh, to build a ships with. We've got pistons, which run our landing gears, our lights. Let's click five here and light that up. Look how beautiful that looks right now. 
And just imagine a a large ship, a Corvette or something like that, just sitting in there getting repaired as you bring it into the shipyard to repair this thing. And you know, after a, a battle or whatnot, and you've got lights all around it, and it looks beautiful as long as get out. Going to have to build something like this in Space Engineers because I'm, I'm digging this right now. It's amazing. It's awesome. But then uh, continuing on here, uh, it appears to be, yeah, the toolbar goes on only two. We've also got this going on, the first toolbar. And for those that are wondering, this down here with all these is just different maneuvers to turn your blocks with so that you can set your ship perfectly where it needs to go with just a push of a button. Something that I have found with 3D printers is a must if you are going to just start setting in blueprints and then as you set your blueprints in, you're going to have to start twisting and everything. Let's let's go ahead here. Let's look and see. Can I grab a blueprint here? Go up here. Uh, I don't know. This is projector main. Let's go to blueprints real quick. We're going to grab something real quick and easy here. Uh, let's see how big the IWL Sentinel looks in here. Now, we're not going to get the big guns and everything. Okay, so we got that. Now, we're going to use... That moves it. And then... 5 and 6 does that. And then... 7 and 8 moves there. So I would have to manipulate this a bit and turn it. Go back into projector here. Projector main. We're going to give it a bit of a yaw there. Roll. Help. No, that ain't helping. Uh, let's see. Pitch. That. Roll it. No. There. Almost there. Almost there. We are. Get the Sentinel right where he's gone. The Sentinel fits actually pretty well. Not going to lie. So there's the Sentinel in there. And... All I would need to do... Then let's go check. We can see how big the Sentinel looks inside of that. That's the cool thing about this also is everything. It's just the... Feng Shui, I guess, is the right term for this station, which is what got me when I started exploring it was how quickly I could just get everywhere without having to worry about getting confused. Every every place has a direction and it's very easy to figure out. But coming out here, you can just see, right? Yeah, here we go. And we have the Sentinel out here. Corvette, ready to go. I would just have to put a block in here for this main connector to connect up to. And then we could build a Sentinel right down here. I don't know how big a ship we could build. We could probably build the uh, Alamo. Y'all haven't seen the Alamo yet. The Alamo is just nuts. <laughs> the amount of firepower that thing carries is, is retarded for a destroyer. But yeah, this is the Blue Base Medium Shipyard, Blue Team Medium Shipyard by Eddington. Just a very cool little shipyard to have very detailed and for those of you that are looking for and, and I, I would say this it i would say this is the person this is a station for both new players and veteran players looking at this there's a lot of things i would do uh, that i want to copy on this base and do on my own base uh, and there's a lot of things that you can learn as a professional it's also a great base for new players to get in and learn how starships should work and function. You can see here, there's a place for everything and everything has its own individual area. And it's all compressed very nicely and neatly together and it flows good. So if you're looking to have some experience or just have a base that you and your friends want to jump in and just play around in and space engineers and bring materials to, here you go. The blue medium base or medium shipyard. <laughs> I keep getting that messed up. It doesn't have a whole lot in defenses, but it's got some good stuff. And as I'm showing you right now, it can land a F-302 no problem. 
uh, we're probably, I'm probably going to be building a new base that'll work with the F-41 Star Wolf, or Star Eagle, which will be pretty good in its own right. And we're going to, for y'all, for those of y'all that are watching this on a Monday, saying, hey, you know, I would like to have a, a mining vessel for this. I'm working on one, okay? Uh, the Obsidian Bounty is coming in MCR in colors. Don't worry. Uh, you guys will get to watch me build that lot. Or, well, not live. You get to watch me build that in real time on Wednesday. So, anyway... Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this ship review or this build review from Eddington. And uh, stay safe, stay frosty. This is Badger Wild. Signing out.